everyone, my name's Anne Marie. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be making a floral love card using some of Anna Griffin's products. I've already got a card base and it's 7x5 inches in size. What I'll do is I'll put a description below in the description box of all the products that I've used and links to where that you can get some of them. So next I've made a layer to fit my card base in on ivory card stock and I've run it through my embossing machine in an embossing folder called Rosette Cluster and that's from the Garden Cuttings Kit. Again I'll put a link at the bottom in the description box for where that's available. Then once I've embossed it I've inked and blended some colour around the edges of the colours that I want to use for my project. I've already added double sided tape on the back of the card, on the layer, so I'm going to peel that off and I'm going to put that on the front of our card base, making sure it's roughly in the right place. Next what I've done using one of the dies that comes in the Paper Tricks 2 kit. I've cut out just the border die in a gorgeous red card and I'm just going to place that across the middle. Next, using one of Anna's flourish dies I've cut this out of craft card and I've used the embossing mat just to get some of the embossing features to show and I'm going to place a little bit of glue and pop that in the centre of our card. Next I've already die cut a larger layer to go across the top of our flourish that we've die cut and this is in the coordinating red sparkle card. So I'll pop that there. The next layer that we've got, again I've run it through the same embossing folder from the garden cuttings kit and I've just inked the edges top and bottom and I'm going to place that as the next layer on our card. Then I went back to the Paper Tricks 2 kit and in there there's quite a host of different dies available all to use either with the embossing folders that you get to make some gorgeous things like mini envelopes and paper rosettes or you can just use the dies as they are. So I've run the, my card through the machine in the die to make the base of the banner and then using the Paper Tricks I've used the embossing folder where you can actually emboss to make the shape of the banner as well and it puts the scores in for you. So I've already put 3D foam on the back of my banner. I've stamped it using one of Anna's stamps from um, an old kit actually. I shall put a link on if I can find it for that. But it just says the word love. And I'm going to peel the back of the banner off and I'm going to place that in the centre of our card. Roughly about there. Now a card wouldn't be a card without a few flowers. So I've gone ahead and made a few in coordinating paper. And I'm just going to place two flowers there. And lastly, to finish our card off, I've die cut four red hearts and I'm just literally going to place the hearts on our card next to the flowers, just so they're poking out of the side and they're not too in your face like so. We'll stop saying like so and then we take the last one if we can pick it up and that will go just to the side of the flower at the bottom. 
press it down and that's our card finished I do hope you've enjoyed this tutorial if you have please give it the thumbs up why not subscribe to my channel for lots more exciting demonstrations and tutorials thank you so much for watching see you next time